guys, it's me, Ursula Thomas. It, oh my gosh, it is me, Ursula Thomas, and welcome to Don Thrift to Find. Anyway, girls, let's get into it, honey. Listen, before we even start, what I need you to do is make sure you are sub and subscribe. Make sure you are subscribed because I'm telling you, I don't know what happened. I don't know if some kind of way it get kicked out. You know, I had one subby tell me that her notifications not even coming on so make sure you keep you hit that notification bell make sure you are subscribed make sure you share girls because you know why because we got goals for this channel we got goals for this channel for so with that being said welcome to don thrifty finds and i am ursula thomas and you know by now this channel was founded on what thrifting girl but honey thrifting is so scarce and so pull like pulling teeth now you know we're gonna always have us some thrifting we, we a thrifter. We gonna always have some thrifting, thrifted, bargain hunt, and bargain shopping. But with that being said, we gotta throw a little looks for this girl. A little cook with me, a little chop with me, a little chit 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 chat with me, a little razzle dazzle, a little okay. So anyway, I'm so excited about this video because these are really some of my favorite videos. Besides going out and thrifting and finding the good goods, but honey, listen, I was sitting and I was looking and I was like, you know. Girl, the, the good goods, the, 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 let's just get into the video. So, what I wanted to do, guys, because I really enjoyed that video that I did like this last time. I didn't even look at the views. I didn't even look at the comments. I can't even tell you where it's at right now. Uh, because, you know, when people want thrifting, they are used to thrifting. And I like styling. And a lot of times when I, uh, I realized I feel like back uh, a couple of years ago, I feel like I did add or incorporate some styling, but now mostly I just try on. And, and I used to take pictures all the time on IG, and I don't do it as much, but I'm, I'm getting ready to gear back up and start back up. So a lot of these looks are looks that I've shared on IG that you might have saw me haul it, but if you don't follow me on IG or you don't get no notification, man, you won't know how I thrifted. And back then, they really didn't have YouTube shorts where you could just pop on and show so, whew, girl, that's a mouthful. So, with all that being said, I want to go back a little bit into some of my archives, and I think that's what I'm going to be doing to pull up some of the looks because this is a funny thing. A lot of times when people say, you know, this is trending for, this is trending for the spring, this is trending for the summer, you know, a lot of times I find out because I thrift what I like. We can just pause it right there. So a lot of times, stuff that I've already been done got, or I've already thrifted, or I already won, now they're saying it's trendy. Go out and wore it, did it, done that, and probably done redonated. So with that being said, because we don't want a lengthy video, I got my notes, girl. So the first look I want to talk about, honey, I got to get my glasses. The first look I want to talk about, because I'm trying to do it like, uh... It's just two really sections, really. It's just like uh, vintage and uh, men's wear because now you know for some reason men's wear is all the rave is popping out. So I want to give you some men's wear look just in case you want to be part of the trend. Because listen, you can be over 50, baby, and be trendy as you want to be. Okay, now let's go. So, one of the things I want to share with you guys is a men's shorts and t-shirt look. This is the simplest look that you can really, you can style it up, you can style it down. And you know you hear people say that all the time. But literally, guys, all I did was I took, and then y'all know I'm a hat girl, babe. You know I'm a hat girl. You know I'm a hat girl. And this is one of my favorite thrifty vintage, vintage, vintage. Yeah, I didn't even welcome y'all when I said that, girl. Listen, all of my new subbies, yeah, I got so much love for you guys because you decided to join our little fam bam over here. So all of my old season subbies, y'all, welcome the new subbies. You ain't got to know who they are. I just said there's some new subbies in here. Hey, welcome. Listen, and I know a lot of times that we watch a lot of these videos on our phones and things like that, and you can't comment. I love comments. That's the first thing I do is go into the comments. So, even if you don't go into the comments like that, every now and then, get into them comments and just say welcome. Say, Hi, all the newbies, welcome to our fam, bam. How about that? So, I have much love for you guys. And you know what? I'm going to take a pause. I'm going to take a chill right here. And guess what I'm going to say? 
all of my recipes. Welcome, my new cuties. Hey, girl, let's go. Anyway, welcome, everybody. I'm so excited, of all of you. Because when people say, and I don't know if y'all really know this, but when people say, you know, I love you, I love you, you really begin to develop a love for your community. You really want the people in your community that God wants you to have there because the relationship, hey, we can talk, we can agree to disagree, we can say, girl, no, not me, but I like this, and that's what it's about. That's what it's about, but I ain't going to get it because y'all know I go down a rabbit hole. But anyway, let's go get back to this soup these shorts. So, girl, this was just some regular old brown uh, cargo men cargo shorts. Another thing, I love t-shirts. I love a good t-shirt. I just took these men Levi, this man's Levi t-shirt, and I just threw on a blazer and my favorite a hat, and I threw on some, um, I think I had on some brown heels, uh, like one and a half inch heels, and a little purse, and this is how I styled it. Now, the cute thing about that is you can flip out the little heels and put on some gym shoes. You can flip out the hat, put on a cap or no hat at all, and it still would be just as cute. So the next look I want to talk about is the uh, men's two-piece suit. Now, this particular suit is, I showed y'all this severally. And I'm telling you, if you are a curvy girl that's, you know, uh, I would say pear shape or... I would say, personally, me, I will say pear shape or even what they consider, I say a figure eight. They say cocoa bottle figure eight. For some reason, me and pants fit curvy women so good in their frame because most me and pants going to have pleats. But for some reason, if you don't mind the pleats poking just a little bit, you can go up some sides where they don't poke. But it's it's the it's something about I forget what they call it. The ratio from the zipper to the button, and it gives you. It's really been uh, uh what they call uh mom jeans or mom this or high waisted. It really gives you that high waisted effect. And it just, it just does, in my opinion, and it just, it, they fit curvy women better. So this particular suit is just a two-piece suit, and actually I had two of them. And I redonated one, and I redonated both jackets, but I kept the pants on this one. And I just styled this one just a, uh, I, I wore it first before I redonated. And I just styled it with blue, and just pulled out some of that blue and red, and those blue pumps, and... I love that look. Y'all let me know y'all favorite look. I believe is a man three-piece suit. Now, the man's three-piece suit is was one of my favorite. It was, and I would love to find another one. It was just, because none of these things I have now, it was just uh, the man's vest. And I actually found that, y'all, at Salvation Army, and I think this suit was $9.99, and I think I got it with a uh, half off. Because I think I did... I think I uploaded it uh, uh, on Instagram or something. But actually, that suit was actually $9.99. And I got it for uh, half off, which ended up being $5. So anyway, that particular suit was a, was a three-piece suit, and it was brand new. If it was not $9.99, it was $14.99. I got it for $7. I can't remember. It was one of the others. And that particular suit was a three-piece suit. It was brand new. And it fit perfectly. It just was too long. And I can't remember if I cut it or not. Now, the jacket was a little oversized. It did not fit shoulder ratio, but that didn't bother me. I threw the suit on. I threw it on with a scarf. I styled it. I love how it came out. But I never actually wore that particular suit out. Next look, I believe, is the uh, is tuxedo jacket. I love that. I still have that. And I have a vintage one. If I remember, I'm going to pop up some footage. I did a reel on Instagram with the black one. I did the whole Cindy Portier. Showed you kind of like the uh, time frame of the year. I did that one. And then right after I found that one, that was a vintage one. And that was like was falling apart. After I did that, I found this gray one. And I styled this gray one up just with some black shorts, some strappy heels, a hat, 
and took that old magazine like purse they used to wear back in the day and that's that look on that and then the next suit all right so we are back so now let's jump into um uh, well, i feel like the lighting changed is that me i feel like the lighting has changed that's odd anyway let's keep it rolling so the next thing i want to talk about is my next favorite and my next favorite is vintage. Y'all already know. Especially ones that's been following me for a while. You guys know that I love vintage. I love vintage. Vintage. Why I keep on saying vintage? I love vintage. I love a good vintage piece. So, the next thing I'm going to show you is this full on blue jean vintage three piece. Well, it really wasn't a three piece. I kind of made it a three piece. It really was the pants and the jacket. And I had this blue jean like wrap shirt. And I kind of just added that to give it some kind of little dimension like a belt. And I knew how I already wanted to style it. And it was a vintage 14. So of course, you know, you gained 10 pounds. This after dope. <laughs> It was already vintage, and it was in excellent shape. But that was one of my favorite finds as well, and I was excited to style that. But then my next vintage piece was this vintage black, and like it was black and white, like uh, sweater. And then the buttons actually was like black and white, like the button was like white with like black and. A uh, white checkerboard on the inside of it. I love that piece. And I just put that with uh, the red dress and the black hat. And I absolutely love that. So then I found a vintage black or a charcoal kind of grayish long and that's back when girl. Because you know fashion just repeats itself. That's why I would not encourage anybody. You know you do what you feel like you need to do for you. But me personally, I wouldn't encourage anybody to run out and get these pieces brand new from Zara or, or but you know everybody's not a thrift. Because it's really just recycled fashion. And if it's if it's if you see it come out and they say it's a trend, nine times of ten, it's in the thrift store. Used to be now people done got hooked. But I have found this blue jean black, like grayish black vintage skirt. So I also had, this is the thing, I had found this vintage blazer as well. And I was out at um, Goodwill, I believe, in Jackson, Tennessee. And I ran across these little hats. And I knew that I had that blazer and I felt like it would match. So, of course, I got it. And I put it on with, you know, the black uh, uh, skirt, the blazer, and the hat. And I actually like that look. It was a simple look. And sometimes to be just fashionable to you, what you like, and what's your style. And so I knew I'm sticking myself all in the mouth. I knew that I was going to like that look. So I got that. And I got this skirt, I think, from Park Avenue Girl for like 2 or $3, a little or nothing. Then this was one of my favorite. I don't know if y'all seen this. I'm going to try to link it in the description box. If you haven't, go get a look-see. A few years back, I did for Black History Month, I did like a whole little Black History Month video. And I really enjoyed it. I went to um, the, Lor the Lorraine Motel and did some shooting. And one of the looks that I knew when I thrifted it, I knew exactly what I was going to use it for, was this uh, little set. Uh, it's a 70 set. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it was three piece. And it's peach. And it, I'm talking, when I say it's a 70 set, this definitely, my phone just dinging. It's definitely an old school set. And I knew exactly, I was going to, I knew I was going to embellish the whole 70s, 60s slash 70s look. The whole, you know, I knew, I already knew I was going to do that. So I love that. I love how they turned out. Go and give, hit, hit it. I'm going to try it. If I didn't link it, it's because I forgot or I couldn't find it. But I should be able to find it. Please give it a look and let me know what you think. I enjoyed that video so much that I actually want to recreate it in something else. Like another holiday. 
but that was just perfect for me i love that let me know what you guys think if you get a look uh it was a whole 70 look and then the next one is also that's it's it's kind of like a twofer because it's like this full-on red vintage coat with a red man's pantsuit so it's like and then you know they saying all oh, 2004 red is trending i did this red on red look for a valentine look girl i want to say at least a couple of years ago because i like what i like and if you see even the pictures that i'm showing you i incorporated some red that red skirt with the black top with the red shoes with the uh, red and white was it red and white or black and white little blazer vintage blazer so you know a color trending get what you get and like don't sit and wait and be like okay what's trending but i feel like we so seasoned i don't feel like i feel like the women and the young women that follow me the seasoned women or the young women because i'm ain't a girl i ain't got no problem being ain't a baby yes uh that follow me i feel like we are at an age now girl quick girl listen listen Girl, you know how when you... Y'all know I had to take it there. You know how when you season... You can season some greens. You can season some chicken. You can see whatever it is. You season it real good. And right then, you like, oh, it tastes good. But don't mess around and put that season... Don't mess around and put them seasoned greens in a in, in a uh, overnight uh, container and put them in the refrigerator. And pull them back out the next day or the next couple of days. Don't you mess around and do that because you gonna say, baby, that seasoning done did what? It done set. Baby, I'm, I'm set season. I'm set season. So I don't worry about, you know, this trending, that's trending, this, 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 that. I like what I like. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like some of the trendy pieces because it reminds me of, you know, stuff that we once had, like bell bottoms and stuff like that. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. I love it because it takes me back. Because it's something that's already been done. So, that's what I had. Y'all let me know. Do y'all enjoy this? Y'all enjoy me going back and showing y'all how I actually wore out. How I actually styled it. Let me know if you do. Because I enjoy doing this. Also, before we go, I don't know if y'all seen my short of following me on TikTok or anything like that. But girl, let me tell you before we go. Honey, I went to the dollar in the tree. Baby Dollar in the Tree had some glasses for me. Y'all know I told y'all I love shades. Y'all know I did. But girl, look. And I'm sitting up here saying, Lord, I really want to go back. But now let me tell you something. This Dollar Tree. This a dollar and a 25. This, this, this. A, so you're going to get a dollar and a 25. But if you're a fashion girly or a fashion season girl, it don't matter. Baby, look. But they adopt if you break them, if you sit on them, if you sneeze and they pop, it's okay. They a dollar twenty-five. But I picked up these two, y'all. You can't tell me these little dollar twenty-five shades can't give you a look. You can't tell now they supposed to be UV protected. You know what I'm saying? I can't say they're gonna be crisp and sharp and polarized and all that. They're a dollar twenty-five. But girl, if you just wanna look. If you just you you just want a little quick look, and then girl, listen. These what got me cause they almost give you that uh, Lueve type feel how they shaped. But girl, look. Do you see what I see, girl? Look. So with that being said, honey, that's all y'all know. I'm a bargain shopper. Honey, y'all know I be out there. Y'all know I'm thrifty as well as a thrifter. So when I find something that's, honey, mmm, girl, mmm. Now, would I wear these all the time? Probably no. But when I just want to look or just take a picture or just have, you know, I can throw these around in my car. I done forgot something. Well, I keep shades in both. I keep shades in my husband's car and my car. But I can put these in his truck. And I like, dang, I forgot my shade. I just want something for a little bit. Just block a little sun. The dollar in the tree. 
All right, that's all I got. I love you guys. Please be a solution to somebody's problem. Please let me know what is your favorite look. Let me know if you like these kind of videos. And listen, I hope you ain't paying no attention to my nails because, honey, listen, we I ain't had time. I, we, I just had to do what I had to do with my nails looking like the wolves. Okay? okay don't be like, ooh, she should have done something. What you should have done, Don? I'm just playing. I'm just joking. Because, honey, they can get so serious. Anyway, bye. I love you guys. Please be the solution. Be the solution to somebody's problem.